Alright, so in this video, let's get ahead and get started with removing this issue where we have this alt text not being able to work. And this is basically only happening if we don't upload an image or the image doesn't contain alt text. So I think this issue is happening essentially inside the article card component. So what we should be able to go ahead and do in here is just go into article card. And in here we should be able to go ahead and say as operator here just to double check that this will work. And then in here, let's go ahead and make sure that we only show the paragraph here if we have some content. So basically if article content. And let's make sure we also add in an all safe operator here. Inside our article model, because we are now using this here, we should have content as array. So the other thing we want to go ahead and do in here is that since we're displaying this as HTML, let's go ahead and make sure that we're actually also saying tip tap. In this case, we actually want to add the STR limit out here, which is a mistake we made earlier on. So if you go ahead and remove this here, then add this in here. There we go. So now even when there's not an image, we can still at least display it here. Now this looks a bit weird and it's breaking a little bit because we have no image and so on. Um, inside the article page here, we want to make sure as well that for the case where we are in the home page, in here we are having a key in here. So let's check if there's any complaints in here. Doesn't look like it, which is perfect. And I think for now, the other thing I want to go ahead and do is I essentially want to extract this into a blade component because at the end of the day, I think it's quite important to just keep these tax components here extracted and some people may call this overkill i would think it's quite important to keep the application structured and try to get things separated so make component and i'm just going to call this display of tag component so inside tag component we just want to go ahead and pass this through so you want to say x tag component and in here all we want to do is we want to pass through the category so what we can do in here is just a category category inside tag component in here we can just go ahead and say public category category And in here as well, we have an issue where we are displaying the SEO data as well. We need to throw that around as well, like we did in here. So let's go ahead and article card page here and fix this issue as well. So article in here, we just want to go ahead and make sure we actually And instead, we want to say this content. And again, in here we have all these components that seems to work fine. And yeah, now we have this tag component here. And then here we have a error message as well. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are running npm and just close some of these tabs down in here we then have essentially a complaint about 
on the art category page basically. In article card page, sorry. In here, we need to just go ahead and remove that. There we go. So again, this does look a lot better now. If I go to the category page here, it does work as well. So let's go ahead into our admin panel now. Let's log in here. And in here, we want to just go ahead and remove some of those articles that we were testing with earlier on. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Still got some spacing issues here, so let's go ahead and fix this now. So in here, what we got is essentially this one here. So let's go into the home page again. Okay, let's try to see if we can fix this design issue. Let's go ahead and set a max height for these cards in here. So what we should be able to do in here is just saying max height of 450 pixels. There we go. And it looks like this is now spacing it out there, but, but it at least looks a lot better now. So even though some of them don't have content, generally will always be content here. So let's go ahead in home page here and see if we can get this all to column three. Just also fix this up. I think for now, what we just want to make sure in, in here is that the height is properly set. So, and the width. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the username here. I'm going to go ahead and add another div in here. And in here now, we now have all of these here. So in total, we should have about three articles. The owl was published, which seems to fix it now as well. So that looks great. And now if we go ahead and let's try to make this sidebar maybe bigger. Yeah, it automatically sunsets it now in the perfect size we want it to be. So that's perfect. So for that now, because we now have more publish here, what we want to go ahead and do essentially is for articles inside our model here, we want to create a global scope where we can essentially go ahead and say that if the article is should only show if it's published. Alternatively, we could also just create a scope, which is just for publish and just add that into our home controller and so on. Um, but I prefer to create a global scope. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So what we should be able to go ahead and do is inside our terminal here, let's go ahead and clear it. Say PHP artisan make scope and is publish scope. So now we have this is publish scope, which we can go ahead into and we can essentially go ahead and apply the relevant details here. So for this one here, we should just be able to go ahead and say builder where a 
in this case we have it as status article status publish so now we should just be able to go ahead inside here create a protected static function called Buddha in here we're just gonna have a void and then we're gonna say static add global scope in this case we want to call this is publish and we want to go ahead in here and say function or oh, actually we should just include the file in here sorry so let's go ahead and include the file here sorry new is publish scope just like that so what should happen now is nothing should happen but if I go ahead and I said two of them to draft you won't show in here so this is kind of where we may have a problem with using a global scope so we may want to essentially instead of using a global scope which you can use and maybe there will be working around a filament but if we go ahead and avoid using the global scope for this one we could just go ahead and create a scope in here called public function is publish scope take in a builder and all we want to do in here is just say builder where status article status publish We have to call this scope actually in front. So we're going to call the scope is publish. And we also want to return it. So we want to return a builder in here. Just like that. And then in this case now, we should just be able to go ahead and say inside our homepage. We could just go ahead and see this inside actually the home pages page here. We should be able to go ahead and say is publish. And I import the in create builder. So let's go ahead in here. Make sure we get rid of this building here and this import. So where we have this builder here. Let's go ahead and make sure we use the correct one. And in this case, I think let's just go ahead and for now get rid of this builder here just to see if it works. So all we have to do now is just go ahead and get rid of this one here, add in the correct one here, and there we go. So now we are essentially hiding the ones in here. Put them to publish, you wouldn't go ahead and see that we have three articles suddenly, and that's perfect. So now we're able to essentially just get them by scope is published. We can return a builder here, and this works fine. So yeah, that's how we essentially can scope the article. We have addressed some of the issues with the article pages and the like now so that the content system looks a little bit better. And then over the next few videos, we're gonna start building the ability to determine what is shown on your homepage by using page builders and blog.